lovely peoples. Yes, I have gloves on. No, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> but, as I explained in another video, I have razor blade cuts all over my fingers because I've been working with polymer clay and I'm useless. So, I have gloves on. Alright, I am making Prosetto Rose. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right because apparently it's an alcohol and I don't drink, so I wouldn't know how to pronounce it. It's like Champagne. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Prosetto, Prosetto, I guess. Anyway, so some sort of fancy ass wine, I think. I don't know. Um, it smells friggin' awful. Um, but hey, let's go with it. I have three colours mixed up here. I have a darker. There's something on the bottom of that. Don't want that falling in my mix. I have like a darker brownish kind of colour, sort of to represent. I don't know what. I don't know why I'm doing these colours. I wrote them down with some idea in brains, but who knows? So, which is <laughs> anyway, it's a mix of latte, vintage rose, and black pearl from my micro obsession. I also have I don't even know what that says. Oh, something rose. It's <laughs> the writing's all worn off. I don't know what it says. <laughs> Uh, French rose, I think, um, and cherry bling, which is like the most awesomest stuff ever. I haven't mixed these up either. I'll do that now. <laughs> it is. The cherry bling's awesome. It's kind of got like a, I don't know, it just it's, it's, has this sheen to it. It's gorgeous stuff. Let's see if we can... Look at that. I mean, seriously, is it not the most awesomest stuff ever? These are very similar. I will chuck a bit of titanium dioxide and dioxide. I did it again. Apparently, it's now called dioxide and not dioxide. <laughs> so, yeah, right. Whatever. This is more on the red side of things, whereas the cherry blends more on the pink side of things. They are still very similar too similar for what I'm going to want but I decided to use them anyway now that you know what they are and I know what they are let's slide all this stuff over the way, the way over there with a lot of stuff all right so in here I have oh creamy because it's starting to <laughs> it's starting to set up um not set up it's my hard oils are starting to go back hard again I have my hard oils, my soft oils, and goat's milk soap, and uh, full cream milk powder. My soaps are in no way, shape, or form vegan or vegetarian, because I use beef tallow. So, this is my lye. Um, I don't know if you can see, it actually has uh, brownish kind of looking stuff in it. That's tussa silk. And I'm going to pour that in there. Not too worried about whether it gets bubbles or not because stick blenders will do that to your soap and I honestly don't think it makes any difference whatsoever. Just when you pour lye, you try and pour it carefully so you don't splash it anywhere because that would be bad. And then we're going to give it a mix with the old stick blender and try not to knock things flying in the process. <laughs> Just getting this just incorporated, emulsified is the actual term. I'm not worried about reaching the trace. <laughs> Purely because they're going to get mixed up more once they go in here. I will hand blend the fragrance in because I have absolutely no idea how it's going to behave. And stick blending is a surefire way to make a fragrance thicken if it's prone to do so. So we try not to do that to the best of our abilities. I have absolutely no idea. I think I was just planning on doing a drop swirl. I don't know. I have to look at my notes. I have notes. <laughs> I do have notes. Um, with different pink drops. Pink with different pink drops. 
Oh, okay, I've done the wrong... The, the, the latte doesn't even belong with this one. That can just go over there. That does not belong with this soap. And this is supposed to be pink. Okay, so I'm going to do the base pink, and I'm going to do two different pinks in here. Right, now I know what I'm doing. The, the latte is for floral musk, and is representative of musk. That's what I was doing it. I'm wandering off again. To do. Oh, now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's always good to have notes. <sighs> All right, so now that I've mixed the wrong things up, how about <laughs> oh, a little, little bit of cherry blossom left? Oh, I'm gonna do the cherry blossom in here. <laughs> Bye. Love the cherry blossom. I'm pretty sure you can't get cherry blossom anymore. Might throw a bit because that's pinker. Whoops, excuse me. Might throw a bit of this in there. We might actually throw a bit of this in here as well. This is how we make colours, people. <laughs> Because this is the pinker of the two, I might put a little bit of titanium dioxide in that as well. And there. And a bit in here. That will have to. Yeah, so much for no more mixing. <laughs> nice. It also looks like pig skin to me. Alright, and then some in here. It's so messy using this thing. I think Katie's got the right idea with square containers. That'll be Katie from Royalty Soaps. She's pretty awesome. She does some wonderful soaps. Not anything I wish to do. I'm not a I won't say I'm not a fan of the high top soaps, I just, I don't think I have the patience to make them. <laughs> Would probably be more to the point. Alright. So this is going to be the lightest of the two. So what I'm doing is I'm not putting a stick blender all the way down in the container. Until I got it a little bit mixed up. I don't know if there's enough difference in these two to make a difference, but we'll find out. All right, let's see what happens. Ugh, it's stinky. <laughs> don't like it. Don't like it at all. It just smells like rose. Oh no, don't put that on there. It'll wreck me lino. Oh. Yeah, see this just this colour is so gross. How gross is this colour? We've kind of got peach. It won't stay this colour. It should morph back into a nice pastel pink. That's the thing, you never know with pink though. It's just it's such a shit of a colour. This is behaving really well, so I'm a bit happy about that. It actually seems to have possibly have taken trace back just a little. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it's always good when you can find a fragrance that thins your trace because it's easier to work with. Sometimes that what they'll do though is they'll thin your trace and then all of a sudden they'll thicken it. You'd be like, oh ha, sucked in. Oh, I'm just tricking ya. <laughs> it's definitely thinned it down though, which is good. Jeez, I hope that changes because it's really feral. Not a fan. <laughs> Although I don't even like the smell, so 
Well, I guess it doesn't matter, hey. Let's move that to somewhere where it will not knock it off the bench. So boring with all these drop swirls. I need to do something different. All right. It's thick. Don't get me wrong, guys. It's actually pretty thick. But it's not as bad as I was expecting. So, so that's something. I think these are definitely going to be different enough that you will notice the difference once it sets up. I'm going to go up high and try and get as much of this colour into those as possible. Oh, now we've got some ploppies going on. Right. If you swirl it around sometimes you get a little bit of um, a little bit more, I'd say liquidity, but apparently you can't use that with this. It has to be fluidity, so. Although I still think liquidity is a good word, so I like the idea of using it. <laughs> I'm going to put a little, little bit more of this in her. I'm trying to do it from up high. So it goes down into it. Just like that. We'll save the rest of that for dessert. <laughs> oh, whatever. Look, you just go over there. And I'm going to put the rest of this. Oh, I know what I want to do the top of this. It's not going to work because it's too thick. That's a pity. I was going to do... I noticed there was a, a bottle of Prosetto. Is that a... I don't know. You guys will have to tell me. I probably should have looked it up so I didn't sound like a dickhead. But, you know, hashtag because I'm a dickhead. <laughs> um, I found there was a bottle of it and it had beautiful pink diamonds all over it. I thought I could do like a diamond effect on the top of this, but I think it's... I don't think I'm going to get it flat enough that it will work. Because it has to be like a really flat top to do that. I'll see if I can, but I don't think so. <sighs> so we have like almost 2,000 subscribers. That's, that, I, I can't even, I just, I can't even finish a sentence thinking about it. It's just amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. it a bounce sometimes you can get it to go a bit flatter if you give it a bounce so it likes a good bounce let's try that see now all I was planning on doing and it's really simple anyone can do this oh <gasps> yep <laughs> holy godfathers that nearly landed straight in there didn't it well Oh dear, I'm not editing that out because that was too awesome. I need to pull my sleeve up. <laughs> yeah, just just the tip of the spatula. And see, just pull up and it creates a line. I have like stupidly shaky hands but... And that's all I'm going to do all the way down the soap, although I think I'm going to do them closer. I think I'll do one in between each of these as well. And if you go around, because your spatch always has a like, you always got your rounded side and then you got your corner. And if you go back and put that in there, you can get closer to the edge. And these are way closer. Now, I think I will do another line in between those. It's just something a little bit different. I'm really enjoying... Oh, that's not even straight. Using my fork at the moment and dragging the fork across the soap. I think that's looking pretty good. 
try not to do what I just did, which is dig it in too deep because you end up with a dint instead of it pulling up. In there. In there. I'm just gonna just slightly do it in here and try and get one in there as well. And then we're just gonna do it the other way. And I did that one too deep as well. Very exciting, I guess, watching this. I probably should just fast forward this and shut up. Although I can keep talking. Just as a matter of you will never know if I was talking or not if I fast forward it. There we go. Something just a little bit different. Now set up in here. <laughs> it probably has. It looks pretty, it looks pretty set up. <laughs> That's still alright. You need to smell me. It's not going to be the most attractive smell me ever. everywhere oh, I see a pussy cat did you hear that guys these were little pussy cat sneeze oh, I didn't think I'd be able to do it in there no anyway that's uh, all those that will go in there because I only put three in those and some of these. It's one of these shiny soaps. It's funny how some of them do that. I wonder why. Just get that. It's, you can't. There's no words to describe it. If you saw it, you'd know what I was talking about. It just gets this real light gloss finish to it looks beautiful doesn't translate to a finished soap unfortunately because if I could get soap that glossy I'd be stoked but you know I can I just don't want to use melt and pour although in saying I don't want to use melt and pour you'll be very surprised to hear I've been making embeds yes embeds Vanessa <laughs> I have got cactus well no I don't I have cacti because I have lots of them and I have seashells and I bought the cutest little mold from Coles yesterday there was enough there for two not three I'm overreaching again um this little I don't know what it is uh rainbows and clouds and things it's very cute it was two dollars I can't go past the cheap section in Coles without buying something I'm so bad well, I can. I'm pretty good. But I usually always get the moulds. Uh, there's nothing here for a third one. Oh dear. I just wanted a little bit of pink in all of them. And there's a little bit of pink in there. Oh, I think that needs glitter. <laughs> but I think everything needs glitter, so I don't know if I should do glitter. I just scared the shit out of the cat. Wouldn't be the first time. Because he's just at the end of the bench there. Sleeping, sleeping on my handbag he is. Like not like literally on my handbag. He's a shit. Alright. That can go over there for the next soap. So 
I'll get my fat head in the way again. That's why I keep hitting this thing with my head. It's so bad. All right. Um, glitter. To glitter or not to glitter? This is the question. I don't know. I might. I will. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I don't know why I said excuse me for a sneeze, but right. Um, I'll put a bit of a door on it. This green. This is a door. Again, micro my micro obsession. Because where else do I get my glitters and micas from? But there. Because Amanda is awesome. She's an Aussie. She's a mum. And I would prefer to support her than some nameless company somewhere that I don't know anything about. And I love her products, honestly. I mean, if she had shit products, I wouldn't bother. You know, I'm not going to support someone just because I like them if they have shit stuff. And she doesn't have shit stuff, so... Alright. There we go. Whatever that stuff's called. <laughs> that rose coin shit. <laughs> I'll see you for the cutting. Bye. Okay, so I've just taken this out of the mold and you can actually see the difference in colours. This one still looks kind of like Miss Piggy's skin, <laughs> whereas this one's more of a pastel pink. So I'm hoping that this will go like this. This does not smell like wine of any sort. You know, it smells like rose tea. Like, yeah, something like that. Like, some sort of green tea. It just, it, it really does. Yeah, it's definitely, or, yeah, yeah, no, green tea. A floral green tea, rosy green tea. Maybe rose potpourri or something. Potpourri, if you want to be fancy, I guess. <laughs> oh, very exciting. <laughs> I'm very excited. <sighs> Not. I hope it changes colours. I really do. Oh, look, got a hole. Houston, we have a hole. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Shit happens. It's not the first soap I've had holes in before. I didn't bang it down quick enough. You can definitely see the difference in the two pinks, though. You can. This is a lot more of a red tinge to it. This is definitely pink, pink. So yeah, the, I mean the swirl's good. I like the swirl. I'm just not liking the colour that it's swirled into. So yeah, it's still very, it's very brown in here. It's definitely different. You can see uh, the difference. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Oop, make sure I get this right. <laughs> It's not OCD, it's an actual design thing. What I do is when I, I'll show you. I made these little boxes, right? And this was what my soap sits in. And when I have, here's a perfect example. When I have my soap sit in it, I start from the front. Now this will be the first bar back to the 10th bar. And then when someone buys one, they get moved forward and then they get replaced that way so that the design looks like it does here. So I'm always very particular that the design is in the correct order. I just think it's just more, it's, it's a more, it's a display thing. It's just, I think it looks nice when the top shit looks like it did when I made it. And then if I put the bits around the wrong way, it frustrates the hell out of me. <laughs> so, yeah. It's very annoying when things don't look the way they're supposed to look. It's not an OCD thing. It's just the way I like things. 
OCDs a lot more severe than something as simple as that and I'm so glad I don't actually have it and there we go a thumb if this changes significantly I will um I like that just that tiny little white line in there and just here how cool is that uh, if this changes colour significantly, I'll um, attach the uh, the promo photo to the end. I'm going to try and remember to do that with all of them anyway, so yeah, but anyway. <laughs> but yeah, now you can see there is definitely a big difference between that and that. I mean, seriously, look at that. So, you know, I mean, even these are different. So, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. That's about as far as I can cross them these days. Even my fingers are old. <laughs> All right. See you next time. Bye.